gets really, really jealous every time Blake comes up and like loves on me. She gets very grumpy by the fact that she's not getting the love. It's me getting the love. Why and are you barking so much? Because she's jealous, because you were loving me. And yeah. the best part is every time she barks, her little front paws jump up. Because it's it's like she has she has too much bark and she has to jump to get it out. Here, wait, here, love me. Okay. Oh, oh. Are you gonna do it again? Mm. <laughs> literally, Baby just, girl. just, this is what's happening. Wait, 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 this, this is what, I'm literally just standing here and kissing his cheek. <laughs> she gets so jealous. Mm. Mm. So, actually, hold on. Well, Kyle and McKenna are officially moving into their house, which means I can take all of the stuff that was in the windows off the windows because Kyle was on mids and that's like the night shift, so he would sleep during the day, which means we had to block out the light. But now we don't need to anymore, which is fantastic. Yesterday, I sent Blake to go to the P.O. Box because we haven't checked it in a really long time and I knew that we had some stuff there that we needed to pick up. He came home with like a whole bunch of boxes. I think half of them were for Kyle and McKenna and then the other half were for us. This also gave me a chance to whip out a letter that we actually received quite a while ago that I just we just never had the opportunity to read. I didn't want to have one dedicated vlog for opening this one letter. So we just kind of pushed it off until we had more things in the PO box. And that's why we didn't read it for longer than I care to admit. <laughs> that was the first thing we opened out of this bunch of mail that we got. So Cynthia, thank you so much for your letter. And I am so freaking sorry for not opening it sooner than today. The words you wrote in that letter seriously made us so happy. We were so, so stoked to read everything that you wrote and it seriously just, it made my heart melt. Like you were seriously so sweet and we truly appreciate it so, so much. After Cynthia's letter, we opened up a book. It was addressed to me and it was Confessions of a Shopaholic. It looks like it was sent from like a book, not necessarily subscription service, but like from a service. So whoever sent that book, Thank you so much. I wish there was a letter or something to go along with it, but it was just a book. So I was like, ah. And then the last thing we opened was a box from Maria in Portugal. She sent these incredible tiles, the most beautiful tiles I've ever seen. And it said Culp family on it. And it was just so sweet. And we're so stoked to hang up those tiles in our house somewhere. We have to figure out where we want it to go. It meant so, so, so much. Thank you so much, Maria, for the beautiful tiles. After opening up all of these boxes, I came upstairs and I actually hopped on Facebook for a couple minutes. And I saw that my mom posted a status and it kind of deflated my mood. For those of you who don't know, my mom is actually a politician up we are where we are from in Washington. And on the ballot this year, we have a measure for possibly introducing a passenger only ferry plan that would put passenger only ferries kind of randomly, not randomly, but like at various locations around the county to connect with Seattle. Anyway, she went on and posted this status and it says, I went to a political forum this morning regarding the passenger only ferry plan. The proponent of the ferry plan started belittling me when I was quietly sitting in the audience. I thought about our political climate. The ability to disagree respectfully seems to be fading, which worries me about our abilities to self-govern. If we must belittle and bait those who disagree with us, where are we heading? I refuse to participate in such behavior. At the end of the forum, I went to the gentleman, shook his hand, gave him a sheet of data from the ferry plan that showed the passenger subsidy and walked away. So first I want to say my mom is seriously one of my biggest inspirations in life. She puts her mind to so much and gets so much done and I'm so proud of her every single day and I'm so stoked that she did take the high road and didn't take the bait. She is always such a respectful person. She always gives respect to everybody especially Especially in politics where it's very easy, I'm sure you are all aware at this point in time, it's very easy to be angry and to be grumpy and to be extremely negative. My mom is very good about having a platform based on facts and research and generally trying to make the best decisions for people, like for the community that we live in instead of kind of like stroking her ego a little bit with her position, which I love about her. She's 
fantastic. But it got me thinking because I had just gotten all of these amazing packages and letters in the mail from people who watch these vlogs and it just made me wonder what could we do to just better the world a little bit right now. In a world where we are so tense and angry, where the entire world is watching us right now because of our presidential election, talk about pressure, <laughs> where can we find a common ground to better the world and, and to make life easier for somebody or better for somebody or improve it in some way for somebody else or for ourselves even. And I kind of got this idea and I don't I don't really know how to feel about it quite yet so let me know in the comments down below how you feel about this. I would love for the comments down below to be a, a sort of forum where we could discuss things like this. It got me thinking, instead of having a PO box where you guys send us incredible things and I don't want to seem unappreciative at all, but instead of having a PO box where you guys do send us things, what if we had something set up where we could have donations to a charity of choice that we would rotate every quarter or something like that. We could make something and donate them to people who need it if we come up with shirts, if we come up with shoes. What if what if we were using this platform to fuel something beautiful? Do you know what I mean? And I don't want to sound pretentious at all either. I just want to do something good. It feels like the world is not good right now. Like it feels tense and angry and grumpy and rude and disrespectful and upsetting. So I think instead of having a P.O. box where you guys can send us things, I think I'll do some research and I'll find a few charities that I think we can all get behind and we can all back. And you guys can send letters or donations or money or anything like that to this charity that will rotate on a quarterly basis or a trimester or something. I'm not really sure. I'm trying to figure it out. I just feel like with with this platform and something that we have here, we could do something better. We could do something good. But I'm kind of also just babbling a little bit. <laughs> so let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Look at this cat. Kitty. Juniper, I'm gonna pet your kitty belly. What? Huh? Don't do that. Oh, she's so cute. I'm just gonna let her be. Anyway, I am just putting the finishing touches on the vlog. I know it's a it's a bit shorter of one and it's a bit chattier than normal. We actually had some issues editing it last night, which is when I wanted it to go up. Um, there was some weird, actually, I'll just show you. So like that entire time of me talking, it's, it's like completely out of sync with the audio. Listen. I would love for the comments on so you can see that was kind of what I was dealing with last night. It ended up being super frustrating and I ended up just installing like an earlier version of the editing program that I use. I don't know if there's something that just didn't update correctly or like what happened, but I basically downgraded my editing program to an older version because it's stable at least and it interprets audio correctly. Finally got this all edited and ready to go. So um, I'm gonna end the vlog here and hopefully in the next vlog, it's gonna be a little bit more exciting for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and we will see you next time. Bye. Go Ikea. Did we vlog in Ikea? We did vlog a little bit. Okay, we vlogged a little bit in Ikea. Blake, where are 